All right. Uh, before I get started, maybe we can start off with a show of hands. Like, how many of you are familiar with the Kubernetes Gateway API? Okay. And how many of you are familiar with Apache API 6, the project? All right. I guess a lot of you are not familiar with the two. So I guess this is a good talk uh, to introduce you to both of these uh, projects and how they work together and why you might care about it. Uh, I guess we can get started, right? Sure. All right, uh, I'm Narendu and welcome to this talk on the Kubernetes Gateway API and Apache API 6. And since a lot of you are unfamiliar with both the projects, maybe we'll start with a, a bit of a prequel, a short prequel. <laughs> So Apache API 6, is, uh, as in the name, it's an Apache, Apache Foundation project. API 6 is essentially uh, an API gateway. And API gateway basically sits between your client applications, which are web apps, your Android apps, anything that your clients use, and your APIs, which is your backend services that your clients want to communicate to. And an API gateway sits between the between the two, and at its core, what it does is it, it takes traffic from your clients and forwards them to your uh, APIs and takes the responses back to your client. And on top of that, it adds features like uh, fine-grained traffic control. It adds stuff like authentication. You can set up monitoring within your API gateway. So you get all of that uh, within an API gateway. And the Apache API 6 is uh, an API gateway. So you can do stuff like this. Uh, so this is called a canary release, where you want to release a new version of an API. As you can see, the v2.0. But you don't want to disrupt your uh, consumers of your API, your clients. So with an API gateway like Apache API 6, you can keep directing most users to the v1.0 which is which you know is already working and you can uh, shift some of this traffic let's say a five percent of this traffic to the new api version which is v2.0 so essentially you can test your new versions of your api with production traffic without affecting it uh, without a lot of your users uh, getting affected so an api gateway like api 6 enables these kind of things now let's talk about Kubernetes. We are in Kubernetes land. And within Kubernetes, like your applications are pods and services which are running inside a cluster, right? And API 6 in Kubernetes becomes API 6, the API gateway, and an ingress controller. So an ingress controller exists uh, to make API 6 Kubernetes native. So uh, if you are familiar with Kubernetes, you will be familiar with how things are managed in Kubernetes, right? You have resources. So the API 6 ingress controller lets you manage API 6 in a Kubernetes native way. And essentially it does the same thing. You have your client applications. And what you are trying to do now is you are trying to direct your clients to applications running inside your cluster. And you do it through Apache API 6, an ingress controller like Apache API 6. So the API 6 ingress controller takes in a configuration, takes in a Kubernetes resource, and it converts it into a, the format API 6 understands. So essentially, this configuration is a YAML file. In Kubernetes, you do things through YAML files. You declare your configuration in a YAML file. And this is where the gateway API comes in. The gateway API is an API that can be used to describe what your Kubernetes ingress should look like, how your traffic should be uh, handled by the ingress controller. So the Gateway API is a new API that uh, Kubernetes team has built to do this. There are other APIs, uh, as we'll see, like the ingress API, which had already existed before. And yeah, so this is the uh, basic stuff. And uh, while I talk about the Gateway API, uh, I also talk about the why behind it, because 
the gateway API is just another API, right? Kubernetes has a tons of API, and why am I uh, more interested in talking about the gateway API? I think because the gateway API is here to stay, unlike some of the other APIs, unlike some of the other standards that Kubernetes tried to establish, the gateway API has a lot of potential to be the go-to standard in managing uh, traffic within clusters. And any discussion about standards or APIs is not complete without mentioning this XKCD comic, like it is inevitable. So, so yeah, when you talk about standards, you always wonder whether uh, you will end up uh, you will end up with competing standards. So gateway API is another standard, but would there be a future where there will there there will be some new standard that tries to replace the gateway API? Yeah, that might be possible. But I drew this entire comic just to show this. But uh, the gateway API might uh, might be an anti-pattern uh, when it comes to this because I think the gateway API has done and is continuing to uh, do a good job in uh, consolidating all these standards, consolidating all these different ways in which people are uh, trying to like configure Kubernetes ingress into one. So yeah, that's, uh, that's really happening and that's one of the reasons why I think this, this talk might be beneficial to all of you. So, uh, to understand these nuance, I think it's uh, important to understand how the gateway API emerged. It is, it didn't like uh, uh, come out of the blue. There was a gradual evolution process which led to the creation of the gateway API. And uh, this evolution uh, helps a lot in, uh, in, in the stuff that I mentioned before, like in, it helps a lot in consolidating uh, all of these uh, other APIs. So uh, going back to the basics, you have pods and services in your Kubernetes cluster. And to expose your services outside the cluster, you have uh, Kubernetes services. And uh, typically, like uh, you use these three services, uh, cluster IP, node, node port, and load balancer. While this is useful for a lot of stuff, it lacks a lot of features. Like you want to be able to route or route traffic uh, in a fine-grained way, you want to be able to like have more control of how your traffic is uh, directed in the cluster. And these services just don't cut it. And that's where the Ingress API project came. So the Ingress API is a Kubernetes API uh, that enables traffic routing in Kubernetes. So you can basically use this Ingress API uh, to configure how your uh, traffic is handled inside the cluster. And it's also a standard. And it has 20 plus implementations, including projects like Apache API 6. So instead of API 6 coming up with their own solution, they use the standard. And uh, people who use the standard uh, can use any of these implementations to work with the standard. Yeah, so API 6. Uh, implements the standard through the ingress controller, like I mentioned before. And uh, the API 6 API gateway itself, it's, uh, it's completely cloud native and it is tailored for high performance. And of course, like it's hosted by the ASR. Now let's get to the juicy part. Let's look at some uh, demos. So this is the basic demo setup. You have uh, two services, left and right, which are running inside a Kubernetes cluster. And you have your clients, which is just a, a CLI client. And what you're trying to do is you are trying to expose these services to your clients. And you do that through the API 6 ingress. And what, what we want to do is when the, the client sends a request to the left path, we want it to be directed to the left service. And when it sends a request to the right path, you want it to route it to the right service. So let's see that in action. Uh, yeah, I hope this is uh, clear. Yeah. So this is uh, an ingress API definition. So this is how you configure ingresses uh, within Kubernetes. Uh, you have 
the resource type as ingress and you use you are using like the apache api 6 ingress and you can have you can configure multiple paths for for our, our example we have two paths and uh, if the path is left we want it to be routed to the left service and if the path is right we want to route it to the right service and this is how i, I have set up my cluster so you have api 6 running api 6 uses etcd to store its configuration and i also have the services the left and right services running inside the cluster all right now yeah so i i just applied this uh, configuration file and let's see if i uh, sent a request to the uh, created route which is let's say the which is in the right path i'll get a response back from the right service now if i change it to left i will get a response back from the left service so the client is abstracted uh, has this layer of abstraction from uh, from which service this re response is coming back and this is and the abstraction is made by the uh, api 6 ingress controller So th that was a, a very basic thing. Uh, let's try to do something a bit more complicated. So you have uh, the client is sending a request in this pattern, left slash app. But uh, in all practical scenarios, like you might not uh, want your backend applications receiving that uh, th uh, the the exact path from the client. Uh, like the left application or the right application doesn't care if it is left or right it just wants the actual path so what we want the ingress controller to do here is to strip the uh, request uh, from the left or right path and instead just focus on routing it now if you go back to the uh, previous configuration like this, this was our initial setup and to do do a bit more complicated stuff like stripping the path what you end up doing is using annotations so the ingress api is quite limited it doesn't offer a lot of support to uh, this complex scenario that we mentioned but it provides extension points through annotations and what we have here is an api 6 specific annotation so if you recall like kubernetes ingress api was meant to be a standard that that is vendor agnostic but you end up with uh, an api 6 specific annotation which is not really vendor agnostic right so basically like you you use these two annotations to strip the path the rest of the configuration remains the same so if i delete the previous one Mm. yeah now if i send a request to uh with this particular path the response only has the uh the response has stripped the path i mean the uh the api gateway has stripped the path because of our new configuration but like i said like uh this is a limitation of the ingress which can only solved by proprietary stuff and uh, while the ingress api tries to uh, bring vendor neutrality uh, these annotations create a, a vendor uh, lock in and there is no really there is not really a standard way to extend ingress and that's where the gateway api comes so the the kubernetes services are limited and ingress tries tries to solve it but the ingress is also limited and gateway api tries to solve it so you can see like how you would think like there is a next step like like the xkcd example like you end up having more standards but i think the gateway api is the end point all right so the gate i i feel like the gateway api is a bit more natural uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to like creating a new api 
and it is a bit more expressive so you you will be able to uh, define you will be able to easily define what you what your configuration should look like through the gateway api and it also provides extension points it knows that it is incomplete and but it, but it provides standard extension points that uh, users can use to like add features that are uh, that may be like only be available in one particular implementation and it it is also role oriented because most kubernetes uh, users uh, only care about specific part of their of the application stack so as an application developer you might not care about what cluster you are running in you might not care about the infrastructure you only care about uh, getting traffic from your clients to your application so so the gateway api also provides a role oriented interface so as an application developer you only create care about creating routes and your cluster operator or the infrastructure provider let's say the aws or uh, the google clouds or any other clouds they care about uh, uh, the, the the gateway class but as an application developer you only care about creating uh, routes so let's see this in action so you have this same setup as before but instead of using the ingress api we are using the gateway api all right so this is the gateway api uh, this is the uh, a configuration defined using the gateway api and one thing you might notice is that uh, there is nothing he in here that that is specific to api 6 everything is completely vendor neutral so even if you take this configuration to some other ingress controller you will be able to uh, get the exact same results you don't necessarily have to use uh, api 6 so if you decide to switch from a different ingress controller to api 6 it will work exactly as it so yeah uh, so in here we do something different so instead of matching a path we are matching requests based on query parameters so that might be something that a lot of production use cases demand so you have a query parameter called site and if its value is left you basically route the request to the left service and if its value is right you basically route it to the right service let's try applying it all right and uh, all of these are kubernetes native resources so you, i can just uh, yeah i can just get oh. Oh, i'm not sure why that's not working but yeah all of these are just kubernetes native so you can basically uh, manage this as you ma as you would manage any other kubernetes resource like how you would manage your kubernetes pods how you, you would manage your kubernetes services you can manage these resources just like uh, how you how you do that all right now let's try sending a request so instead of this um, let's give it a query parameter like this and now you get a response back from the uh, left service now if i change it to right you get a response back from the right service so we are doing a, a things which are a bit more complicated but with the gateway api you are able to express those in a kubernetes native way and you are able to take these configurations to any ingress controller implementations and regardless of the ingress controller implementations you will be able to uh, get the exact same results uh, yeah now let's try a, something a bit more complicated so we uh, we talked about replacing stripping off the path from the 
uh, the request before sending it to your APIs. And in, in this example, like we are fully rewriting the URL. So there is there are filters which are available in the Gateway API, which is which can be used to uh, do a bit more complicated stuff. So here we are using a URL rewrite filter with, to rewrite the entire path before forwarding to upstream. And the rest of the configuration remains the same. And let's try applying it. All right. Now, if I send a request uh, like this, it should be rewritten, right? But it isn't rewritten. So we configured, uh, we conf we created a a, a, a route to re that rewrites the request path before sending it to the upstream, but it didn't work. And the reason for that is API 6 does not support this feature yet. And that's, <laughs> and that's where I uh, want to bring this, because the Gateway API evolves independently of Apache API 6. And there are, and there are a lot of features with, in the Gateway API that are still considered experimental, that are still considered, uh, that are still waiting for uh, projects to implement them. And yeah there will definitely be a, a lag. And so, yeah, you, you can end up in situations where like, why doesn't it work? Yeah, it, it's experimental, we haven't implemented it yet. So yeah, and just the A Gateway API project just reached v1.0, this is a Kubernetes project, and the project just released, uh, made it to v1.0. So until, until then, uh, until now, like a lot of these features, a lot of these things were considered not ready for production, but now I think this project is uh, ready to be used in production. And implementations like Apache API 6 are far quickly catching up. So you'll be able to use this specification, uh, uh, use this API to define your application, define your ingresses very soon. And there is also the, it also feels inevitable that the gateway API will be replaced by some other API. But I don't think that would be the case anytime soon because the Gateway API uh, does a lot of things really well that, that will prevent this standard proliferation. And we are also working, uh, working a lot to add some of these new features the Gateway API has uh, to Apache API 6 and it's been an ongoing effort. And, and yeah, we are uh, really uh, we are really interested in like implementing the Gateway API as well. And yeah, you can check out the Gateway API project as well. You can see the list of uh, implementations that actually use the A Gateway API. And yeah, finally, I want to leave some time for some questions. And if you scan this QR code, it will take you to a blog post that talks about everything I mentioned in this talk in, in detail. So you can definitely check that. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask now. Yeah. So yeah, uh, thank you.